Hello and welcome to the 56th and final episode of the Chicken Chess Club podcast. My name is Jan Gustafsson and I'm delighted to be joined by a very special guest, a man we haven't seen here for a very, very long time after a streak of success in the French League, defeating Magnus Carlsen. Laurent Fresinet is back with us. Laurent, how is life? Yeah, I, ju I just came back for the final e e episode. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we tied to a wrench. I mean, la last time you, you overdid it a bit. It's true that I was not very... Um, I didn't have a lot of free time during this French League. I get tired also uh, and during the tournament. And t talking to, listening to Peter to the Fides segment, you know, doesn't make, uh, doesn't uh, rest me. So, um, but we try to arrange something. And uh, Peter is working in the morning for Magnus. You are commentating in the afternoon. Uh, I am uh, having dinners, uh, social life in the evening so it was it was a bit tricky but i'm glad that's the, to key, back. That's the <laughs> key point that we might have professional obligations but you're saying i have social life which i value more highly than spending an yeah, hour and per then week i years. want to start preparing a little bit i have my routine in the evening checking the games of the day preparing a bit checking my my repertoire you know because the possible opponents i can get so, yeah, I didn't have uh, well, much time. You had time. several free days, right? No, no, I had only, only, only one free day and you were, you, were, you were aware of it. Of course, I made some quick doors, but that was at the end uh, against... Uh, <laughs> and to the beginning and the middle. <laughs> not at all, not at all, not at all. No, you, you didn't check the games, but um, yeah, I, ma I made... Yeah, I made a few quick draws, but then I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a very long post-mortem with my friendly brothers, uh, who are also my opponents. So the playing hall is a bit far from the hotel. So, yeah, okay. Overall... It just wasn't possible. Yeah, Sounds convincing. Possible. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was not uh, easy. Uh, so, but I also, but I'm, I'm I also like you guys. sharing this, because I think a lot of people, they don't see like how tough work it is playing playing a league like this and the amount of hours being spent on these 12 move draws. It's not just the five minutes you're at the board. There's also countless hours checking how do you make a draw against the King's Indian, against the Queen's Indian, the Queen's Gambit, the same well, stuff. I mean, work goes into this. I'm, I'm, my quick draws were mainly as black, but uh, <laughs> I'm, <teasing. laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but Mainly, only two with No, luck. I mean, you have to prepare. I mean, well, well, let's say I, I, I made a quick draw against your, your German uh, countryman, uh, Blue Baum. But he, he, can do, he can do many things in the open. I mean, like, I, I didn't spend less than, than four hours preparing. I mean, that's for sure. So, checking files, uh, making new files. I spent a lot of time preparing. And, and finally, I got, I actually, I got something I checked uh, in the very morning. So, that's I mean, not so useless. Happy your hard work got rewarded. I mean, you played a fantastic tournament. What, what do you want to say? Yeah, it was yeah. No, I played. Uh, I played well. Was a bit. Uh, you need both. Yeah, you need to, I, to. I started to notice that players much higher rated than you started uh, making quick draws with white. Yeah. Yeah, that was a, a very very pleasant uh, thing to <laughs> to see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, this guy, I mean, couple of guys, yeah, like Blue Bomb and um, and Oparin in the last game, but it was strange to give him white because he had a very long game the previous day, and he saw that. Well, the opening didn't suit him, and uh, it was a very important match for the title, which we didn't win actually, and he didn't want to risk. Uh, so, yeah, you get expected, you know. Uh, I, I when I beat jo Jordan. Uh, I played very, uh, very solid against Jordan. He just blundered. I took the point, and uh, yeah, then I got some some respect. That was nice. But like back in the days, you know, like when I was uh, twenty seven something, I had this respect. So I felt we're back to two thousand fifteen or something like that. And uh, yeah, I feel sometimes I can uh, I can play some good chess. Also, these quick doors, I mean, are helping me to to recover. I mean, like, because I get uh, much, much faster now. But when you make quick doors, of course, you have more time to rest. But 
that also means that if you go deep in the World Cup, you will start eventually tiring, probably. I mean, the World Cup, yeah. Yeah, no, of course, in the World Cup. I played only once the third round, and I was already... <laughs> I was already tired, so but I don't think I will go. Don't don't worry, Peter. I'm not too optimistic about the World Cup, but let's see. And then you went on to show in the Champions Chess Tour what happens if strong players don't take a quick draw with white against you and beat Magnus Carlsen with the black pieces. Yeah. How do you do it? Nice. This is the curious case of of Frenchham in Button. You keep getting younger. Stronger, very inspiring. Not at all. I I do less things now. So some German friend offered me a great job. I'm I'm grateful to a German, to to my to my German friend who offered me a nice job at Chess Twenty Four. You know to have this, uh, uh, to 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 be the leader of the Chess Twenty Four en français. And then I had some meeting with him on a regular basis. Not only with him. So I I was kind of busy all the time, and. Uh, Now I feel uh, <laughs> I'm much less bizarre. I still make commentaries, but you know, I just have to sit there and not to organize anything. So this is good for my chess. Actually, I'm thinking with my, I'm seeing some games. You know, I'm thinking with my brain. This is actually good. So I have less things around, and I can focus a bit more on my on my chess. Also, I was, I mean, let, let's be fair. I was uh, a bit uh, a bit lucky. You know, I mean, Jordan. The blunder he made, he doesn't make it every day. So you need also to be a bit lucky. Recently, I felt actually that I was not very lucky, that I was playing better than my 26, 20, 30. But do you feel in this time that I'd... you perform better against people that know you well, like Jordan or Magnus, that maybe because of your off the board personality, they underestimate your chest strength? Yeah, and you guys are, are, are the... <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I have a hundred percent score against Peter, <laughs> and I am uh, apparently your worst opponent. You checked it very much. So, yeah, so I'm very good. Uh, yeah, I have very good score against uh, my friend against Dubo, mm. but it was before. Yeah, I have also a very good score. So um, yeah, I'm taking advantage of this. It seems because absolutely. I don't know. Yeah, so maybe. So what what are your chess goals now? Like top 10 world champion what's the what's the realistic goal at this stage? No, I mean like let's let's face it I want I want 20 points. I mean I I made like performance over 2750 but let's be realistic I I won't come back some people like Bakro he hopes he will come back to 2700. Uh, I don't think at our age it's it's realistic. So let's say if I if I can keep twenty six fifty or something something in that region for for a few more years, I mean it would be nice. It would be already an achievement. I think. I think you're just uh, setting expectations low the way you've been playing recently. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Barak. No, we were. I was just impressed. It's an inspiration. No, everything us. went. People, I mean, like we were. Just... We are just talking after a tournament where everything went my way, basically. I mean, like, it couldn't go any better. I mean, every chance was taken. Uh, every possible blunder was made by my opponents. Uh, every good pairing was... I mean, everything was, um, you know, sometimes it just happens. Like in, in yeah, my yeah. game. But the trend was there for a while, no? You, you yeah. started playing better and better for a year now, and it keeps improving. No, you're, you're a great inspiration for, for all of us. Peter also looks very inspired. Ah, man, I keep improving. I lost my, my 2700 rating uh, not, not that long ago. I understand, I mean, but I mean, from like uh, three years ago, it's uh, just yeah. upwards. Yeah, I, I had, is that so, yeah. I had, a, I had a bad period uh, from, let's say, uh, 17 to 19 or something like that. Very bad period, actually. Peter. Such is life. You're awake. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How was your week, or since we I last mean, talked? I don't know if it's been. Well, uh, for a start, my life is uh, considerably less uh, exciting than Lauren's. Also, we spoke about this two weeks, uh, sorry, two days ago. So there's not that much to to add, I would say. Um, kids go. Kids I lost going track to, of time. Yeah, kid going to school. I drive him in the morning, then I go play golf for five hours. My Ukrainian golf buddy is back, and then 
that's more or less it. So uh, no, I can't uh, really compete with Lorang in, in this segment either. So we can we can move on for here. But but thanks for asking. I will try to have an exciting life till the next uh, next podcast. But we we are all jealous about Jan and his uh, his background in from from Dubai. This is amazing. Mm. Uh, you have, thank you, thank you. You have this training camp, yeah? Yeah, I'm working, working surprisingly hard, but I'm having a good time. <clears throat> nice hotel. Haven't been outside much, just, you know how it is. Clicking on chess yeah. moves, that's what we do. But no, I'm, I'm having a good time. Can't complain. Too much. But it's very late here in Dubai. I'm jet lagged. Mm. It's actually not that a, late. With a thermos? Oh, yeah, okay. I need to drink coffee to make it to make it through this. Can, can you reveal it with there or not? Why are you training? I think it's uh, it's not public, but yeah, where there is this whatever it's called, this global chess league. It's happening in Dubai. It's starting on the twenty first, I believe. So it's a convenient location. Most of the world's best players will be here. I think Magnus is also playing Ding, and so on. And we're training the team for another similar rep event, the Dusseldorf Team mm -hmm. World Championship. So a lot of strong players are are in town, but I don't think I'm at liberty to speak about their schedules. You know how it is. <laughs> very, very confidential. Yeah. When are you arriving, Peter and Magnus? Excuse me? When are you and Magnus arriving, speaking of confidential? Well, me and Magnus will definitely arrive uh, separately. Um, if I'm arriving, it's a little bit unclear. Uh, it, uh... I have uh, ongoing things with the authorities, but if I solve them, I will I will come Oof. sort of in the middle of the event. Uh, but we, we will see. Magnus, I assume, will come for the whole Monty, which, uh, as you mentioned, is starting twenty first, right? Uh, uh, and of we'll, course, we'll miss each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, of it's course, as up. as always, I have no clue uh, what is this global chess league, even if I saw it on the on the paper, the guide paper. Uh, well, you don't see Mag Magnus's team. He's on the. Alpine Warriors or something? So it's very random, yeah? You just make your team, yeah? With, with Gukesh, Erigaisi. Well, basically, you could draft players, but you peak too too late, Lorang. I think when the time of the draft, you're considerably lower rated. right? So No, but I can see the names, they are still... Uh... But they were drafted, yeah? Because clearly some draft managers had a preference for Indian players, others had a preference for Chinese players, but they were drafted, yeah? Like... I guess. Don't you see like that in uh, the NBA draft as well? Or I don't know. Uh, mm. No, no, I was curious if the teams were put together by <laughs> by nationalities, but apparently I think you could just pick. I think it was a draft, but uh, maybe if you're insinuating foul play, I wouldn't... Uh, no, 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 I just saw the lineups. I saw Ding and Yu Yang Yi, and I think two other Chinese players were in one team, and all the Indian kids were in the team with Magnus. So that's it. yeah, it's going to be exciting. Official it's, theater event. It's a rapid event? Yes. Mm. Sort of. Yeah. Sort of. Okay. So there are two official FIDE rapid events, FIDE team rapid events coming up this summer. And, uh, both okay. consisting of teams with uh, mixed uh, genders, and it's very a new concept. Yeah, yeah it's <clears throat> revolutionary. <laughs> Disruptive. <laughs> Disruptive, even. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, we'll see. I think I'll stop by. Yeah, it, it should be fun. So you'll be there for how long? I don't know. I might I might be leaving the first day of play. You have to figure out. If Oof. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't get an appeal committee job or something. You are already... You don't have to pay the ticket. Come on. Trust me. Fide. Trust me, I tried. Trust me, I tried. Mm. I'm Very in town already. That is, that is true. It's a hard knock life. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what else is to talk about? Where so, so this plane? Yeah, we should talk about this uh, aim chess plane which was played yesterday, and not only about my tournament. Yeah, so despite losing to you, Mac is qualified. Yeah, so... he played very well, seven out of eight, and and uh... no, I mean like he made like seven out of nine, but uh, yeah, finished third for first, and then had a... he had a tricky match against Saich. Well, he won the first game, lost the second one, but then he won the. I'm a get -on game, right? Yeah. But Laurent beat him with the black pieces in round number two. We should mention yeah, it yeah. on the podcast as well. <laughs> there is a separate video celebrating it, but it I can't was actually be thinking mentioned enough. You, you became number 33 in the tournament, Laurent, right? 
Yeah, but I became number on, 33. Based on tie, tie break. Was it because Magnus drew the last game that you dropped tie break points not to be number 32? I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure that uh, played the role because I don't even know. I mean, the first tie break, I was tied with the 30. Ah, uh, then it's second, so I, I even don't know what is the second tie break, but I do. I mean, so I if do. Magnus had won the, uh, the last yeah, round, for sure. yeah, you would have been okay. Why cool. he was winning? No, no, he didn't try. He just made a draw and qualified. Ah, okay. Uh, this is what I offered to my opponent, but uh, he beat me. <laughs> so that's how I became uh, uh, 33rd, which is a bit unlucky because I could only play for the third division. But I got a nice paying. Just so we understand, you offered a draw during the game. You didn't try to illegally prearrange a game of chess, right? No, because you know you have the paying five seconds before, and uh, uh, you get uh, seated. So, but you can offer a draw anytime. So after, but I already felt. Taba Taba A, uh, you know, is a very solid player, and I went for, for my default. He put a bishop on g7. I have felt okay, the guy probably wants to win. And actually, he was right. He, he had to play on to just to try to qualify for the first division. And he actually uh, played against West Lesso after beating me. So I still offered the door just to be <laughs> to be completely sure. And uh, well, he didn't take it and uh, played a nice game. So, um, and almost made it to the first division. But this is a pity. Yeah. For one spot, I could have played for the, the second division. But, okay, luckily I won my match for the third division. But I I, I, sh I would, I enjoy, I told you before, even when I didn't qualify, I enjoy the, the process. I mean, it's very nice, very nice tournament. Not too many breaks. It's going fast, 10 plus 2. But you play this very, very important match at the end of the day. And you feel it, it's so random. I mean, everybody gets tired. And I'm not, you know, I won one. I lost one. So, you know, I mean, I don't uh, I don't have really bad memories with it. But uh, I agree with uh, uh, Kamsky. He was complaining about that, I think. Yeah, this match at the end is a bit, is a bit weird, I would say. But uh, otherwise, the tournament is great to, to play. I mean, I enjoy it every time. I, I disagree with Laurent and Kamsky. But uh, okay. yeah, why? I think it's very interesting, and uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Because it's after five hours of play. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You 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 don't play, so you don't get tired. Well, I mean, you just explained to me that it was much harder you preparing play than play playing. Yeah. So oh. <laughs> when you play five hours of rapid game, I mean, it's very very. I mean, it's mm -hmm. very difficult. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't. And we are old. With Gata. Make some quick younger draws. Players. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like all forms of chess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's nice to see Magnus in the in the plane. Also, Aonian did very well. He beat me, actually. Uh, not only that, but he, he won the, the Swiss. And but Aronian was completely lost against Kamsky in the final uh, round, right? I didn't. I, I mean, you, I cannot follow... I think uh, the comp I mean, well, it was some kind of London. I think uh, Aronian sacrificed a piece with the bishop f5. Queen takes f5. He played queen takes b2. Well, it was get getting the queen trap, like and the computer says that Kamsky was completely winning. Uh, but then apparently he lost. Uh, I fell asleep, to be honest. Uh, we should mention Laurent once again crushing. Beat Magnus, beat Tomaszewski, beat Le Quang Liam. Kramnik Kramnik. barely escaped. <clears throat> Playing good chess. Thank you. Mm. I also we should also good. mention Gukesh had an amazing Norway chess tournament, finishing third on plus one. <laughs> and we did not mention him last week. We were too busy slandering Laurent. We would like to apologize to Gukesh and all his fans. He did not partake in the AIM chess play-in. <clears throat> yeah, and yeah, I didn't sorry. mention Gukesh at all in the last episode. That's what YouTube claims. They felt very, very strongly about it. And for me, as the president of the Gukesh fan club, that was hurtful. Yeah, and I didn't participate in the last episode, as you you mentioned it uh, numerous times. Mentioned that, yeah. mm. uh, yeah. too. And yeah. I, I was disappointed by, of course, I was following it. I was disappointed by Abdul Satov, obviously. That was the main... Uh, I was expecting much from oh, for him. I really, I really think he's incredibly good in when he's at on his top shape. But there, he was playing very, very poorly. 
He looked I weak on this one, but I'm yeah, sure we gotta yeah, it's always mm -hmm. so on them. Yeah, I'm sure he was uh, disappointed himself. So, no, no, I mean, I mean, disappointed slash surprised, very surprised. But yeah, okay, it happens. They are still young. Okay, not to mention, of course, as a result of Magnus, obviously. But I'm After sure did. speaking a lot about Laurent's amazing chess results in his 40s, we should also give a shout out to Anna Zatonsky, who is playing the Cairns Cup currently. And with one round to spare, she's made her first Grandmaster Norm at age 44. Congratulations to Anna. Impressive stuff. This is your age, yeah? Because you say in his 40s, but I'm in the. I, I am in my very, very early 40s, actually. Uh -huh. like I, yeah. Me too. I'm me 41. Too. I'm 41. Mm. You, you, are, you are what? Like uh, mm. 44 already, no? 43. No, 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 no. no. Not even close. 43. You're, you're a much younger man than me. And it yeah. shows in your sparkling chess game. <laughs> 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 mm. So, what else is there? Um, yeah, the Global Chess League. I hear the teams. We have the Balan Alaskan Knights, Nepomnishi, Rajabov, Abdusatorov, Tanshong Yi, Batsyashvili, and Raunak. Then the Chingari Gulf Titans. Who, who are, who's choosing the team names? It's, it's Chechi. Yeah, but who is, who, is, who is paying for that? Peter, you should know. It's Fide? I know. I would, th it's, I would think it's, 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 Mahindra. Take, take, it's a giant, take Mahindra. giant company. Wow. <clears throat> so it's Fidel who found that, that sponsor. And also, as f I'm not sure how exactly how it works, but I think you buy the rights to a franchise as a team owner, and it's a big investment, and then you're, you're the owner of the team. The Chingari Gulf Titans with Duda, Shach, Dubov, Kostenyuk, Shuvalova, and Nihal Sarin. So basically the you're saying... Grandmasters. It's like American Sorry. sport. Basically, you, you start owning the players soon. Or... Not sure if the players, uh, I guess, just the teams, because in chess, the players, they probably didn't agree to just play for one franchise. But I think the concept is loosely based also with the draft on, on US sports and franchises. Then we have the SG Alpine Warriors with Magnus Carlsen, Gukesh, Arjun, Pragnanda, Bates, and crush. The Triveni Continental Kings feature Ding Liren, Wei Yi, Yu Yang Yi, Katarina Lachno, Nana Zagnitze, and the surprising twist, Jonas Bjare from Denmark. Upgrade Mumba Masters is MVL. Is it Mumbai? <laughs> it says Mumbai. It probably is Mumbai. Is MVL, That's Vidit, Grishuk, Humpi, Harika, and Cinderoff. How did uh... you, you think? Fide just invited Jonas Bjerre to troll me. I think there was some point some... No, I it's a Monarch... junior board. No, he's a, good, he's a strong junior player. Yeah, yeah, of course. But I just remember there was, I think, some point in Monaco. Someone insulted them. And I think they told, okay, find the, you know, someone from the, the same country and invite him instead, basically. So, no. No, no, for Jonas Bjerre, of course, he's qualified to play. It's, uh, he's the high range Danish chess player and he's very strong. So it's, it's very cool he's playing, no doubt about that. He won the Cup of Blanca, what's called Memorial. Memorial, yeah, yeah, yeah. Recently, yeah, yeah. No, that was kind of a breakthrough from him. And uh, I mean, well, it's going to be very fun to see him uh, on the sort of uh, team together with the, the world champion and, and so on. So I'm looking for. Beat my boy <laughs> Rasmus Svane last round, which. Who I guess technically is also Danish, but in chess represents Germany. So I'm not sure if Peter's rooting, rooting against him, or if he's thinking, "Nah, he's German. It's fine." No, no. On the contrary, I'm a huge fan of, uh, you know, someone who's uh, Danish but choosing not to represent the federation I'm fighting with. So I'm no, no. I said rooting against him on purpose. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> but of course, I'm actually on good terms with Jonas Bjerg. I understand it's it's unlikely with someone involved in Danish chess, but with him, I think I am at least. Do you have time to, with your focus on FIDE, to still follow the Danish Chess Federation? Like, Why um, thinking about... Uh, no, I, I, think so. <laughs> I basically... And golf? 
I stick to one federation at, at the time, right? I mean, at some That's point, I, I, had, I was fighting the European Chess Federation, then I went sort of uh, mm -hmm. national for, for a while with, with Denmark, and now it's FIDE. So no, I'm, I'm basically, I'm not branching out in that sense. I'm, I'm very, bigger. you know, go for yeah, 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 The Danish Chess Federation actually decided to, to support our ticket for the, for, for the FIDE election. So right now we are on surprisingly good terms. Well, we don't speak to each other. That probably helps out the relationship, but uh, yeah. No, no suspicious dinner receipts in the Danish Chess Federation recently. No, not really. But uh, no, at some point <laughs> I was getting a uh, hold of some uh, receipts from an unknown source. So um, yeah, that was uh, that was interesting. But, uh, I could break the news that uh, Lars Shandov was having extra cheese on his burger. These kind of things. So yeah, no, this undercover stuff. But, uh, but... <laughs> yeah, that was that was an amazing bill. Like for two beers for 15 years or something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was like really freaking news. Yeah? Awesome. Oh, it was a joke, but yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, speaking of not a joke, the World Cup field has been announced and something Peter might have hinted at last episode. No, I, I hinted on the opposite. I'm so... I think. Okay, then you did your job. You hinted at the opposite. But Magnus Carlsen announced that he's playing in the World Cup. This That's cannot exciting. be a surprise. It cannot be a surprise because he always loved uh, the format. He made it clear for now many years. So why not? It's a bit long and it will be a lot of classical games. Also, My, is it the only thing he's never won? Like no, That's true. Yeah, we, we had this conversation the last time, I think. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But last episode, again. I, thought, I thought he was not playing. So it's basically like he says about openings that if he... Surprise his second, he will also surprise his uh, opponent. And uh, it's a little, little bit the same here. So, uh, oh, I mean, I guess there is something else he hasn't won as well, right? But uh, the, the World Cup he hasn't won yet. So yep. uh, and, I'll see uh, you in Baku then. We will I, see. I would be, uh, you're talking to me or We can both. Yeah, but, but what are you doing in Baku? You're going with your boy? Of course. Yeah, but as you know, Lomar, once. Once we find ourselves out of work, should it happen in the unlikely case, we're very happy to to work for you for a very modest. Ah, no, 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 I wanted the uh, <laughs> appeals committee. I, I don't think joke. it can I, be combined. I, I That's uh, in general. I, I think <clears throat> appeals committee can always be combined with other work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Okay. So you want to offer your help? Yeah. But I know how not. Sure, I, I sure. was working with you guys, so I, I I'm not. That's fine. <laughs> I'm not ready to, you know, to spend money on that. Sorry, but uh, no, no, Thanks. I don't think that will be needed. I, I think Peter will stay longer than you if he's going there. But uh, I hope. I, exactly. I'm currently <laughs> under the impression I'm not going, but who knows? It could have changed for the next episode. Peter's free. <laughs> no, that's not what I said. Mm. Yeah, we'll see. But it's it's very interesting that uh, Nepo will, is also qualified for the candidates. I mean, assuming Magnus uh, Magnus is qualified by rating, but probably doesn't want to play the candidates. It's what he said actually in an interview last time. But uh, he, he, he will get one percent chance. He, 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 no? he, he will own three spots, or how does that work in the candidates? Yeah, one by rating, one by uh, World Cup, maybe uh, one by this uh, tour. Maybe he will play Grand Suisse, who knows? So he can qualify four times, yeah, for, for the candidates, yeah? something like that. But this feeded tour, he he's not doing might that. Might not well. have enough tournament, no? Tournaments. Ah, who knows? If he's playing World Cup and Grand Suisse, that could improve his chances. Well, so he has to do, yeah. He has to pick it up, yeah. And Vike, okay, was shared second, yeah, but yeah. he doesn't have other results on the record. No, no, he doesn't have many points, yeah, that's true. And this uh, Grand Chess Tour Rapid and Blitz it doesn't count, it doesn't give enough points. It gives some. It doesn't points, give many it. points. It gives some, but not many. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see. So who else is there in the World Cup? Magnus Nepomnesi, Fabi Giri, So, MVL Rajabov, Mamedyarov, Gukesh is playing. I should mention um, Ali Reza keeping... is not playing. Okay, you will ask me again why. I have no clue. No, no, no. I really did expect couldn't, that he, he, would, he couldn't he come would play. to terms with the organizers. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, I I really don't know because uh, you always said that uh, candidates was a priority. So is he doing well in an maybe by I I don't know I don't know. I have no clue. Well, so, rating is very I close. It's a gamble. 
yeah, it's yeah, maybe it's a gamble, maybe he doesn't want to spend one month there. Uh I have no clue. Mm. Ding, it's obvious why he's not playing. Nakamura. Okay, it's weird. Could make a lot of YouTube videos with a lot of views, with a lot of content. Yeah, but Nakamura is maybe well he's hoping for the uh, candidate spots so we are rating, maybe. Or I don't know. Yeah, but everybody does that. <laughs> So, so it's know. a bit tricky. And why not? I mean, it's a free roll, actually, because the, the good thing about World Cup is that you won't lose many hitting points because uh, if you do, you just go home. So, um, I mean, it means you lose a match. Uh, unless you are Magnus and if you make a bunch of those, you, you will lose a lot of rating. But in general, w w when you make those, after a couple of rounds, you don't lose rating. So, um, much rating. So it's not a, it's not a big risk. That's your strategy, yeah? I, I mean, I... <laughs> no. <laughs> My strategy is to survive, yeah? <laughs> and Richie? Yeah, Aronian. Surprise, yeah. Uh, Richie, we don't know, but... <clears throat> maybe he doesn't feel like playing chess here, these faces, no? <clears throat> yeah. And... and yeah, Ding become and world champion. I don't think, to be, to be honest, last time... Aronian showed up, but I see in the list that all the Armenians are just... No, Aronian uh, made Wait, a tweet it. Yeah, that he, ah, really? he was offering to play from the feeder offices in Lausanne because he didn't feel uh, safe going to uh, Baku. But uh, based on that he's not in the list of players, it sounds unlikely that Fide has accepted that suggestion. He played in Baku in a World Cup last time, but was eliminated I think yeah, yeah. earlier. Well, sure. uh -huh. He, he, he lost to Arishenko's second round. Yes, he, exactly. clearly, second round he clearly, I mean, I understand. He I, couldn't I, go out of the hotel and they, they, they provide some security, but... What else? I thought that uh, the, the the war has flared up since uh, then, uh, yeah. sort of recently. So. Yeah. 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 so it's very understandable. Uh, you don't want to go. Yeah, playing from the office in Lausanne is not ideal, but ah, I don't know. It's not my... What do you think, Peter? I, I can't. What would you do? You would not organize a World Cup in Baku? You mean, had I been the FIDE yeah. vice president? It was close, it was close. It was close. President. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. I would if probably you... consider it, actually, if uh, if I thought the concerns was, was reasonable. I mean, well, Aronia's point is that FIDE actually do allow hybrid uh, events. So, uh, I mean, I think... Um, I don't know. I think he might actually have a, a reasonable request that... Uh, while the risk is perhaps not high, being there for potentially three and a half week could, could uh, I mean, be seen as something that uh, would not be unpleasant. Maybe, you know, well, you could ask about securing some physical protection, but that's perhaps also complicated in, in a way. But this is what they did last time. And anyway, uh, it's unpleasant, yeah, to have two guys, two bodyguards. I mean, you know. You know tell tell me about it, yeah. Yeah, uh, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you, yeah, you can tell us. Uh, I remember in, uh, in Palanga, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know, but uh, ah, it's a complex uh, issue yeah. in a way. But I, I don't really want to to talk about uh, feed politics, right? So, wow, wow, that's, that's a joke. But okay. what's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, disturbing? Yeah. Let's see what else we have. Do you want to talk about correspondence, Peter? Is there no. excitement happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, no. Uh, I, I think I've made a couple of moves since uh, since last time. I mean, in one of them, I actually, I think I tried to make a move without turning on the, the engine, but uh, maybe I actually did put on the engine in the end, because, but it's like, a, a, you know, a king and Living knight, on against, the edge. king and two pawns. And I thought, okay, if I give a check there and uh, move my knight into safety, when he push one pawn, I take it, and my king takes the other one, it should be a draw. But again, who knows? We'll see. I feel rather so. No, no, not too much has has happened there. But uh, um, <laughs> oh, I See. just got a a message from my Ukrainian golf buddy. So sorry. Oof, I was afraid. That's yeah. okay. <laughs> Gotta have priorities. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I'm doing amazing stuff as usual. I'm growing the game by playing a 1,000 game match against my friend Etienne Gardet. What like is his level? Around. He's around like 1,000 rating, maybe. Oh. So I'm thinking I'm a favorite to win the 1,000 games. 
But it's it's easy to say, but hard to prove because you need to play a thousand games. So yeah. it's gonna be gonna be a long project. But what do you think the minimum level is? If we can assume that people will yeah, also exactly. prove, no, like let's say, have a friend. it will take two three years. I'm doing that with a friend with uh, seventeen hundred. I mean seventeen hundred fifty. And I thought, okay, so far it's uh, we are playing on chess.com. It's thirty three zero. I'm not sure it will be one hundred zero. It's not competitive. Yeah, I think somewhere me. there is is probably a more realistic line. Also, it depends, of course, of your price and improvement and how much. I don't think I could be wrong, but let's say against nineteen hundred, two thousand. I don't think we win. A hundred no. or a thousand in a row. No, I think no chance there. Mm-hmm. Or no chance, maybe not, but very little chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but against uh, yeah, uh, you, you, your friend, you will, you will win. Against a thousand, thousand normally I should, but of course, in, in two three years you can get. To, I don't know. But are you making it? To get to, and then are you making it federated so you will be like three thousand seven hundred or something? That, or? that doesn't work. That's always like been that. the dream, but I don't think it works anymore. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah, at some point it was possible, no, to play yeah. mm-hmm. your lowest rated friend and win whatever one point one. Some people were doing that. Let's not game. name the friends of Jan. Let's not name any of my <laughs> Spanish <laughs> friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. I uh, no. wanted to keep his beautiful twenty seven hundred rating, <laughs> um, which is not easy to keep if you if you play some some regular tournaments. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Doesn't work I, I, I don't know what is the line, but yeah, what you said, eighteen hundred, nineteen hundred, two thousand, two thousand. I don't see a world where not two thousand one hundred. Yeah. yeah. Also, of course, it depends a bit on the time control. But we're playing ten plus ten, so I think mouse slips or losing on time are are unlikely. So yeah, I think of course I'm a big favorite, but we'll have to be we'll have to be proven. And people are strangely strangely enjoying it. And okay. Okay. Of course. That's fine. Mm. A lot of advice for the strategy. Call. He should try like a thousand times the same or different. And but yeah. I think oh, it's I mainly just, about improving as much as you can in the two years. I just did the math and uh, actually it I, it doesn't take as long as I thought. I mean if you're both using um the ten minutes each per game, how long time do you think it takes to play uh, a thousand games? Well it's ten plus ten. I can't do math. So a game, let's say, it takes half an hour. Mm-hmm. Twenty minutes. Ah, ten plus ten. Hour. Even okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So five hundred hours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was simple. Also. Right. Twenty minutes game. <laughs> Where you have to divide by three. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, yeah. we we won't both use all our time every game. Ah, no, the no, average no, game so far has been like ten minutes. <laughs> No, otherwise, with 10 against 10, Peter, it's, it will be 330. Three. I have no idea. I just yes, geniuses. <laughs> 30,000 minutes is approximately three weeks, so it's not too bad, actually. Yeah, it's doable. And for the German fans out there who want to watch Etienne Gardet lose three weeks in a row, this is great content. Okay, and you mugging him in German, right? Or sort of, yeah, that's no. Good. I'm uh, I'm being like Laurent, I'm being fake humble. I'm explaining, but of course, <laughs> I mean, come on. I'm not <laughs> I mean, you think I'm playing like uh, incredibly, incredibly good, yeah? But what? Well, well, of course, I mean, yeah. I'm not going anyway. to Thailand, you know. I I don't want this. Come on, play some normal tournaments, Ian. You will see some. Why aren't people. you going to Thailand? You love Thailand. I, I don't want to lose all my hating. Come on. I, I think I'm, I, understand. I want to play this uh, under 18 people. I want to play French League, Bundesliga. There's a, there's a price to pay. Olympia. There's a price to pay. French Championship, you know. I know my guys. Uh, I feel more more secure. Safe. I understand. I understand. Yeah, in Thailand, you don't know. Yeah, you have some random guy, 2200, and okay. He's you can okay. go either way. Once, make... once yeah. you're, you make it through the first couple of rounds, yeah. I think you're fine. But last time, I got yeah. stuck uh, playing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and you, can get, yeah. And you can, yeah, it's very possible. You can get messy. Anyway, we have a bunch of great questions here. If Laurent would play a thousand times against Jan, how many would he win? Who Laurent? But Laurent crushes me. He would win. Okay, the current version of Laurent, the Magnus Carlsen destroyer. I don't know what's an 
a realistic what, over under here. No, but what, what, what's the time contour? Mm, 10 plus 10. 10 plus 10 against you? Mm -hmm. What's your rapid rating of 26.90? I'm very weak. Probably I'm overrated because I don't have many rapid tournaments on the record. Yeah, so I guess I have like 2640. Yeah, I don't know. What, what, what do you think? I, I would I would I would hope to make at least sixty uh, percent. You'd be unpleasantly confident, and that would tilt me, and so it would probably become true. I mean, I don't know how that translates to to wins, because of course there would be many draws, because you have a chicken style, I have a chicken style. So, but yeah, of course I'd be a big outsider. The question is, if I played Peter, who's the favorite? Oh come on. You're a massive favorite. I mean, the guy is... I don't think so. A, I don't think so. I didn't look at a chess position without an engine for, for 10 years. I mean, I really think Peter is massively overrated, actually. No, really, without... With, with, I mean, with, <laughs> with, 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 with due, all due respect to your coaching uh, brilliant career, I think you're... I mean, you'd, I never look... I mean, I never saw you watching a game live without an engine running, which is, I think, it's the worst. Why? Because you don't use your brain at all. I mean, you just yeah. But I mean, but he, he plays five hours of golf per day, and then he's thinking. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, I have this partnership ship with Magnus, who is uh, not using an engine, and it's my job to use an engine. You think that if I would be able to think harder on my own, I would be an asset for Team Magnus? I, I don't no, get it. I didn't. I didn't say that. I said that Jan I mean, would be a huge favorite in a match yeah, against you. I mean, he was, because you he was don't... thirteen when he pointed out that. I mean, I'm not paying you to sort of uh, for what you think. Just tell me the engine line. I mean, this is the foundation of our work. But... Yeah, but this is not what we are discussing. No, but Jan is actually old enough to remember me as a as a very strong player. I think even at, at some I training have camp. I respect for. Well, exactly. Uh, at some training Peter. camp, I mean, Magnus even uh, mentioned to someone, uh, don't get it wrong, this guy was, was pretty good at, uh, at at some point when you were very young. Peter so, was European Blitz Blitz champion. Exactly, exactly. Yes, yes. Online Blitz champion. Uh, yeah, yeah. Beating Gelfand so, Adams. I was there to, to watch all of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're well, totally the owner just thinks, okay, this guy will hang every piece. He's sitting there and nodding confidently, and then you hang every piece. But I don't have that kind of swagger. So I don't know. It would be, I think it, it would becomes, be close match. It becomes this ridiculous things that, you know, if you had one year to prepare, you took it was all that mattered in your life, how good would you be? I mean, there's no reasonable scenario where I would start. Uh, Unlikely uh, to happen. Uh -huh. Yeah, I. I, I no, I agree with Laurent that I'm overrated, but it's also unfair. I'm I'm not rated. I, I don't play chess. What do you want me yeah, to say? Yeah, you're not rated. Yeah, I mean, so. yeah. My golf golf handicap is not improving, but uh, I mean, well, I'm trying my best. But uh, I, well, of course, it would be interesting if someone put up some money for me and Jan to to fight over. But else, I don't really see it oh, happening. <laughs> also, for for a thousand games, I don't think anybody would put up the money no. that would make us do it. So it's an unlikely scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but uh, you never know what the future brings. <laughs> how more? No. How much no, more desperate be, my sellout to attempts be, become? <laughs> be honest. Before the French league, I thought, okay, I, I, next podcast, I can mention, haha, I'm higher rated to Lorong now. But uh, well, things went in a different direction. So. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. No. No. I was already. You are what? Sixteen? Yeah. I don't know. Peter. I checked. I think. Yeah, I, I was worried at some point. I was twenty-two. I thought, okay, no, this is uh, not happening. I and will. It didn't Don't happen. Yeah. But okay, maybe, yeah. At some point it will, unfortunately. Well, the time is undefeated and Peter will never play. So it's going to be. Yeah, rough. yeah. No, no. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I will play an occasional league game, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, you should do that. <laughs> <laughs> I might play, play a match. I can find for you maybe some league games. Yeah. Yeah. That is out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they call me now and then. I mean, it's, uh, it's always a funny conversation when Sven Novus calls me first Thursday evening if I can come to, to Germany and I start arguing I haven't played for 10 years. And, uh, it, it goes on like this. But uh, yeah. Any other relevant questions from our. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Questions? Daryl Lewis wants to know if Fress plays Giri, who does Jan root for? That's very, very easy. I'm <clears throat> obligated to root for. My boy, my long-term friend, Anish, of course. But the real question is, who does Peter Heine-Nielsen root for? Like, 
Mm. I I think I'm gonna get stuck in one of these endless loops, right? I will, uh, you know, I will root for Geary not nice. doing well, but then I'll think, damn, Fresh will be very annoying that when he wins, and then I will sort of revert back, and I just don't think there's gonna be any solution there. I'm sorry. That's amazing. I would root for you. Anything. For you, it's like alien versus that's very, that, that's, very, <laughs> that's very hard, heartbreaking. Yeah, I would say I'm rooting for anyone against Geary. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I was about to say I've actually beaten Geary, but then you will probably remind me that so has you. So yeah, I don't. I didn't beat him in classic Oh, really? Oh, that was no, just uh... yeah. So but, um, on his way to the triumph in mind games, I think uh, you also went over Geary, right? Yeah, in yeah, rapid, yeah. but yeah. Uh, yeah. I, don't know. I have beaten him in uh, in classic and chess actually. Who played in twenty twelve mind games? Nakamura <laughs> played. <laughs> <laughs> right. Not yeah, that's true. Grishov? That's true. <laughs> Kayakin. Kamsky was very strong then, I think. Mm-hmm. Kamsky was... I mean, he's always good, yeah? Kamsky, yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, so, okay. That's true. Who have you not beaten in top 10, Laurent? You have beaten Magnus? Nakamura? Ding? Our time control? Yeah. Kramnik, Kramnik, classical time control. No, Ding, I didn't yeah. beat. Classic. He's not there. What? Ding, I didn't beat. Kawana, I beat. Uh, Nepo, I didn't beat. Ariaza, I didn't beat. Giri, okay, not beat. West, I didn't beat, obviously. Uh, Vichy okay. as well. No, Vichy, no chance. Yes. And Richie, yeah, no, I can't remember. So, no, uh, not okay. too many guys, no, yeah? No. We should stick to top four. Top three. Okay, fair enough. I didn't beat Ding. I, I beat Fabian Naka. In classic. You, beat Fa- you beat both Fabian and Naka. Wow. In that classical? Is... Yeah. That is impressive. See, Jan, come on. It's time to wake time up. Time for a comeback. Yeah. I just, uh, I'm no, sorry for sounding so puzzled, but where? <laughs> um, uh, I beat Nakamura in the Austrian League and okay. Caruana <laughs> in the European Team Championship. That's I was about to say, I'm not going to mention the year. When did, <laughs> when did the US play the European team championship? But then I remembered. Yeah. He played for no, Italy. Yeah. Yeah. Italy. Yeah, that was ah, quite, okay. quite long. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, he was young. He was young, but he was already strong. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Fair enough. Anyway, other questions? Sh- shoot other out to questions. the to, uh, 27 to the website. 2700chess.com. They should update their website and include myself, please. Brothers, you should count my games. I'm back to top 100 and they didn't uh, put me there. Well, the website is literally called 2700chess.com. Yeah. Oh, they have a top 100 list. Oh, yeah. They have a top Congrats. 100 list. That's, that's amazing. Congratulations. Yeah. That's a very, but, very nice way to drop that in. But, fair. but yeah. I'm not yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh. I'm very annoyed because now I went back to, the, to see the, the list and I'm I'm not there. I should, should mention that, that Gukesh is very much in the top 100. Yeah. yeah. How, how many times have you refreshed uh, 2700 just to see if you were there? Well, over the last few days. I mean, it's already um, <laughs> uh, it's already more than a week. Uh, okay, actually, so you're yeah. sitting there <laughs> checking. Okay. I mean, yeah. I go there at least once a day. <laughs> <Ali. laughs> Let's face it. <laughs> but I, think the, I think the problem is that people who are <clears throat> not regular in the, in the top 100, are not in their system, so I mean, you, you yes, actually yeah. have to you actually have to tip them in a way. Then they will notice. So um, I am actually. Just, are yeah. you want me to write them, or you will do it yourself? Please tweet. 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 That always tweet. gets no, actually, actually, my, yeah, no, my, my good friend Maze already sent an email. I'm sorry, this is not run. It, it is not run by feed. I'm not going to be critical towards them. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have another question, but I don't have an answer. Scott Rose wants to know what's the story on Yahongir Vachidov? And has there ever been a more random team? Quoting himself, saying Ding Liren reveals he was also working remotely with Uzbek Grandmaster Yahongir Vachidov. I'm not sure how the last name is pronounced, apologies. For the Chess World Championship match, the two met in January in Vike, where Ding also recruited Richard Rapport. Um I don't know, but he's answering his own question. No, that Ding recruited them both in Vike. Peter, you and I, we were in Vike, and we saw Ding having many yes. dinners all by himself. When did he do all the secret recruiting? I don't know. What do you want me to say? I mean, 
No, I'm I'm puzzled. I think I, I well, I'll repeat. At some point, we spoke about if Ding was sort of uh, too afraid to reveal his prep uh, for the match in in white, but apparently he hadn't started the recruiting his team yet, right? Or hasn't? Well, he was doing it uh, at that point. So uh, it's going to be a fun book when it comes out. Uh, and uh, I mean, no, it's yeah, it's just amazing. It, but apparently, it's awesome possible. Part- in my- Pardon my ignorance. What was Vahidov doing in Vike? Was he second for somebody? Was he? Maybe I don't think he played in the big group. No, I don't no. think so. I and think uh, played in the big group, maybe. And Kasim yeah, was there he with. Was there. Uh, he was there with Abdus Satorov. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I don't know. Maybe he wasn't there. I, I... <laughs> no. I think this was from New and Chess. I haven't yeah, yeah, yeah. read That's the article. Science, yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> But it also puzzles me. I thought that China would pour in a bunch of resources helping uh, Ding. But from what we hear so far, there is absolutely no uh, correlation there, right? Or Maybe maybe they did. And Ding said, okay, if I have get- all these resources, get me a rapport in Vahidov. Yeah, it could be. But- maybe that's, that's his list. No, but when you see them, and they have been incredibly successful in the Women's World Championship, you will see a considerable uh, team of uh, sort of Chinese uh, seconds, as far as I understood, right? Yeah, but mm-hmm. maybe Ding also felt he needed to shake it up and go outside yeah. outside the system, which he's probably very familiar with. He is a yeah. champion, but yeah, I have no idea no. what his thought process was and how the recurring no. worked. We know very so little. I see the, I am reading the, the stuff now. After two conversations, at the closing ceremony of the Tata Steel tournament, Asking Richard Laporte and yes, Yakondir yeah, yeah, Varidov. Wow. I was there. So, so Ding so was just seated, uh, randomly was seated next to them. And then he said, <laughs> you guys, I don't know your name, but you're probably a grandmaster. You, are you busy in April? Right. <clears throat> so, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No, I don't know. No, I feel I have wasted. I was there. Uh, it was a crowded room and people were randomly seated Probably I'm not giving Ding enough credit for executing the master plan, but also at the closing ceremony. So he was there with these people for three weeks. Then he asked him. It's all very confusing. He didn't want to decide. But he's a world them. champion. Yeah, that's amazing. So you can't, I mean, that's what I basically say about Vichy and Magnus, that you should not you know, start questioning the way they did it. I mean, they, they came to no, the no. top for a reason. That just because you don't understand it doesn't mean it's wrong. I I'm still well. I can honestly say I don't really understand it, but uh, I mean, uh, it's great. It's uh, no, it, it makes me smile, and I'm very happy that chess is still decided in this way and not by like you know teams of uh, guys like us, right? So yeah, come on. Also, it's I was, I was tracking like... the room. I didn't see that activity. I saw Luke van Veli coming over repeatedly yeah. to Magnus and Peter Heine, where Henrik and Magnus were mocking Peter Heine, of course, and Luke was joining in. But I didn't see Ding like making making the rounds. No, mm. he he flies under the radar and uh, very efficiently. So yeah, yeah. It all works. No, Ding is our boy. Well, ma- mainly, I think we are just all free upset. Ding didn't ask any of us, right? I mean, yeah, in spite of our somewhat desperate repeated offers to yeah, yeah. to no. go to Thailand. I should check my spams though. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> it looks too weird to me that he didn't no, contact no. me. But uh, no, let me check no, my spam. No. I forgot for Fair quite enough. a while. So, yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I will tell you more. We were sitting there in Vikanze at the closing ceremony. We were in the room, Peter. Yeah, yeah. I, I was there briefly, but yeah, that's true. No, you no, were there for no. hours. <laughs> yeah. That no, it is a bit, it's a bit hurtful, to be honest. I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. What can you do? What can you, know, you do? Nice. Congratulations. Imagine Ding would have asked you. Magnus would have thought it's funny. Would have said yes. <laughs> and then you could have claimed <laughs> had Ding won. We don't know. You would have also, but you could have claimed you worked for world champion Anand, then world champion Carlson, then world champion yeah, Ding. Yeah, yeah. Still yeah. winning all the matches. Had he won. Like, oof. Would have been I amazing. might have had some political dilemmas along that road. But yeah, you know. So, yeah, no, I get yeah, your let's point. Not, let's not talk about that. No, no. But not today. <laughs> not today either. Fair enough. No, oh, I, I don't know. I mean, well, let's be honest. We don't get anything in his strategy except that it worked, right? I mean, it probably says more about us than him, but uh, yeah. 
Yeah, maybe that's also the argument. He's just a strong player, so yeah, uh, yeah. The strategy chooses works or doesn't work. Maybe like, it's like isn't the, the, you are the one, uh, isn't it? Daryl Morey in NBA who's quoted for just get the stars and we will figure out the rest later. Or sort of? Yeah, it's quoted so... for that, but it never works. Philadelphia. Okay. Fair enough. Oh. It was not super smooth, though, the match. Also, no, it could not true. I mean, it could have been. <laughs> no, no. Just, yeah. And chess is, of course, different. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's an mm -hmm. individual sport, not a team sport. And team sports, I guess it's more debatable. Yeah. Fair enough. Mm. Anyway, more this questions? Is it. Actually, no. Yeah. no. No. Okay. Those are all the questions. It's been a delight. Uh, special thanks to Laurent Fresinet for making time in his busy <laughs> schedule, crushing the chess world, to come talk to <laughs> us. It means a lot. And, mm, hopefully, we'll see you in the next episode. Also, check out the Chicken Chess Club YouTube channel where there's an analysis of Laurent Fresnier's crashing victory uh, with the black pieces against Magnus Carlsen. Analysis is a bit strong, I would say. But... Emotional. Emotional analysis. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank bye you. Bye-bye.